Hello guys, um, that's my listing on eBay for the Fluke 99B. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a pretty quick channel A and channel B calibration and uh, and also an overall look for the unit. So I have my Fluke connected to my external power supply and I'm using 6 volts out of this guy to the to the Fluke battery input. So we're gonna power this guy on. There we go. And we're gonna power the Fluke on as well. We're gonna come here right on the screen and focus here. Sorry for the reflections here. I'm trying. There we go. I think that's good enough here. So we're gonna go to the to this cup here and um, and we're gonna do before I'm gonna go further I'm gonna show you what I have here so I have two probes they're both Agilent channel A which is the green channel B is the orange and I have the red bleed coming out of the multimeter input uh the two probs here they're not they are not in, nothing included uh they are all belong to my tektronics here so we're going to come back here what we're going to do is we're going to go back to we're going to go to input a and then if you can see it here it says prop a menu which is going to be f5 we're going to press f5 and we're gonna select the second option, which is calibrate probe on A. We're gonna select item, and here is saying you know to connect the channel A probe to to the red lead, and that's what we're gonna do before we're gonna press yes. So we're gonna come here. That's the the end of the the uh, multimeter lead. We're gonna connect it to the channel A. There we go. So now you can see the um, the square wave. So I'm gonna go off one, which is yes. So that'll probably take a few seconds here. Let me just wait for it. And here we go. Calibration has been completed successfully, so we go to channel A, and we're going to do the same thing on channel B. So, we're going to come disconnect this guy, and we're going to connect it to the orange. See the orange label, which is that means channel B. And, oh, there we go. It's connected. Back to here. I want to close this message. Close this window. And then we're going to disable input A. Oh, sorry, disabled. Oh, channel B is already here and available, which is good. So we're going to go to prop B menu. Again, we're going to select the second option, a 5 to select item. We already did that, it's already connected. So we're going to say yes. Again, it's going to take a few seconds. Almost done. There we go. Calibration has been completed successfully. So now that is approved that channel A and B both in working order. So, uh, so the other thing, let's close the screen. Um, Back here, this is scope. This is the um, the meter, and um, I did all the measurements, and you can see all the pictures that I uploaded. And uh, this is the ohm meter here, and this is the diode. This is the external millivolts. Um, all the readings are. Good. Uh, the voltage on the meter, they are spot on. Uh, 
the ohm meter is a bit off, I believe. It um, uh, didn't bother me uh, for what I'm doing. is good enough. And again, it, it's it's up to you. You know, it's whatever you're gonna use this unit for. And uh, but you know, for me, I didn't need to do any calibration on this unit. Voltages, other readings, all good. Um, I've been using this unit probably over uh, almost two years and I had no issues. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, um, the history of this unit and what I had to do, I did a few fixes here. Uh, the first one is I replaced the, the plastic protection, this guy on the LCD screen. I didn't replace the LCD, keep that in mind, it's just a plastic. Um, the old one it cracked, and what happened is when I when I moved to to this house, uh, by mistake, I put see this the old dinosaur uh, printer I put on top of the unit, and it's this is really heavy, and uh, cracked the old one. The crack wasn't that bad, but again, it did bother me a little bit. So what I did. Um, I cut new uh, glass to it, really solid, believe it or not, it's a lot better than the old one, and I'm really happy. Uh, the only thing with this one, I'm going to try to focus on this, uh, I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see this, yep, I think here we go, so this is a little crack here, if you can see him, but that's when I me trying to cut the glass so it's, it's not a big deal didn't bother me it's right it's right on the edge uh, but again it's overall the screen is really solid no issues um, the other thing that I want to show you the yellow sleeve here it's kinda old and um, in a brutal and it breaks easily so I had to glue it a few times in the past and um, you can see the cracks have been glued here on the edges um, so uh, usually I don't take it off I just keep it on all the time but if you kind of person are trying because I don't use the batteries on this unit, I'll be honest and it's um, this guy like if you're gonna look at my external power supply it uses like about a 250 milliamp here. Um, I can't focus on this one, sorry. It uses 250 milliamps. And I believe, you know, it's. I never use the batch. I use it a couple of times. It's not efficient. Uh, it's good when you need it, like, you know, to move it somewhere, doing some work out outside your work area. It is good enough, but it's, batteries is not good on bench. So either you have to buy the the power adapter or or find a different way to power this unit um, so I so you know for me not replacing the batteries it's so I always kept the yellow sleeve on so I don't have to remove it or break it again but if you're gonna do that then uh, eventually you're gonna you know you're gonna have the same problem this is gonna crack and you have to glue it and I, I only use the super glue to glue this guy so and again it's not a big issue for me Overall, the unit really in a beautiful condition, um, functioning just fine, um, not having any troubles. Um, you know, there is some. I want to. The thing that I want to show you, you can see here there is some some scratches on the plastic. But this guy here, right under F3, the plastic kind of melted. I don't know how does that happen. Um, when I got the unit. I don't know, probably me, yeah, when I got the unit, I didn't have it, but it's just something to show you here, but uh, it's a beautiful unit, uh, I really did a lot of work on this unit, and it's uh, never had an issue, the only thing when I received this unit, this unit had a problem with, with the keypad, so I did repair the... Uh, the, the keypad foil inside so just to let you know and, uh, and now every single key is functioning with no issues 
you know, I can do that, but that would take some time here to show you all of them. But, yeah, it's, I can guarantee you all the keys are working, no other issues with the unit. But, please, if you have any questions, just ask before you purchase. Thank you, and you have a good day.